What's going on guys? It's Nicole Charnel. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my four month lock update. So if you don't know, now you know, I am locking my hair um, and I have been doing so for four months. Um, I started August, I think it's August 22nd. I don't know why I keep remembering this date, but apparently it's important. <laughs> August 22nd of 2019. So I wanted to show you my hair uh, before I retwisted it. I'm actually about to retwist it tonight, um, but I wanted to kind of show you guys what it looks like because usually when I do these videos, my hair is freshly twisted so um, it's kind of hard to tell what it really looks like and also when I do a fresh retwist I usually put it up in some type of style be it a bun or sometimes I just put it in two braids so that I don't want to take it down and like show you but anyway here's my hair so overall I am still very much enjoying my hair journey my lock journey um, I'm very much enjoying it I really just like how my hair is changing and how it's growing um, I think I am definitely in the shrinkage phase um, or my locks are shrinking a little bit uh, I'll post a picture basically of what it looks like when I stretched it down before um, and there was definitely you know had some length to it and it has definitely um, started shrinking which is a normal process of locking your hair I've also noticed that like the density or like of my lock is kind of changed as well so as the hair kind of really like forms around my lock it feels a lot different uh, my hair itself feels a lot different it doesn't feel like soft like it and bouncy like it felt when my hair was curl or curly and like a curly style um, it feels more coarse but not like not rough, but it definitely feels more coarse. Um, and I think that's just because like the hair is really packing together on the lock. I actually waited this time to retwist my hair. Um, I'm actually like four and a half months <laughs> um, into my journey really. So I waited kind of like a month and a half to retwist my hair again. Uh, for no particular reason, I think I just, I didn't really schedule my time to lock my hair pretty much like bottom line. I didn't like, put a date on the calendar. Okay, this day I'm gonna freeze my hair. So <laughs> I think that also is the reason why I waited for so long. Um, other than that, like I wasn't really like testing anything out. Um, I did wash my hair, I think just one time in between that time. Like the last few, the first few months of my journey, I waited the whole four weeks or the whole month to wash my hair again. But this time I washed it probably about at like three weeks and um, I'm gonna wash it again tonight before I retwist it. So that'll be like another three weeks. Um, I think a two week mark would be pretty good, um, but I'm just trying to figure out like how I can style my hair after I do the retwist or after I wash it like in that in between time. I'm not really big on styles on like this length of hair I guess so like pretty much I can do like half up half down type situation or I can do like all up my hair will go all in a bun it's just the back is kind of kind of iffy depending on like how far up my bun is um what else can I do I you or I can like uh, I do like crown braids like two like French braids that go back I do that often as well so um, those are like my go-to styles that I do um, I don't really pull it back into like a regular ponytail I just feel like it's just it's just too short I don't like the way it looks um, I might be able to work a low pony but just like I think just the way my hair is shaped but uh, to be honest I wear a hat five days a week I wear a hat when I work so it's just always pulled back you know through the back of the hat or sometimes I could just put my hat right on top of my hair as well and my hair isn't too big to do that so I do that as well like just really just depending on how I'm feeling that day I also have noticed um, some budding so I'm actually going to put my hair up so I can show you the ones in the back um, well I'll show you the ones in the front first so in the front uh, my front is a lot looser than the back of my hair um, it's always been like that like the curl pattern basically um, is a lot looser so I'm finding like the looser the curl the longer it is taking basically for my lock to lock fully um, and I think that just like I said has to do with the texture on um, the or the curl pattern of the hair so the ones in the front are still clearly two strand twists like you can clearly see it there's lots of frizz around them which is great frizz is great for locks we all know this or well if you don't know frizz is great for locks so 
Uh, there's lots of frizz around them, which is good. I know that that means they're gonna start changing and evolving, and they already are changing. It's just taking longer than the back of my hair. So the back of my hair, um, a few of the, a few of my locks are pretty much like there. Like they're, they are locked. There is no going back from these these locks, a few of them in the back. Um, my new growth is coming in nicely, how my hair is coming in nicely. Um, if you didn't watch my previous video, I basically I interlocked the edge of my hair and then I palm rolled the rest of it. And I really think the this technique is going to be the one that I stick with. Um, the edges, I interlock those because it's like thinner hair and it's um, like the looser texture, I think it works well with the interlocking so um, that way my my lock will stay locked especially towards the root uh, because like I said those pieces are so much thinner and the texture is so different they came unraveled much more easily when I palm rolled them so interlocking them makes them stay and I definitely noticed that they definitely stayed longer I mean this one here is just clear just clearly tell like it, it, it stayed in there um, nice and locked the ones on the edges, they they really stayed where they needed to be, and that that's what um that's really what I wanted when lock interlocking them. I wanted to make sure when I was interlocking it, like I said, that it would stay, and the palm really just wasn't working for the edge of my hair. So, like I said, that's why I'm interlocking for the edge. So um, I think that's it. Like I said, I'm pretty I'm pretty close to my five month mark, so I'll do another video then and kind of show you my growth. Um, but I can tell my hair, like I said, it's, it's in the changing uh, stage. You know, it's in the, the change stage. It's not really, it's not growing, but it's not getting shorter, you know, uh, but it's changing. It's kind of doing its thing. So um, uh, the shrinkage phase was kind of the phase I was really worried about just because I don't like in between short hair. Like I'd rather it just be short or just be long. So I was kind of nervous about that stage, but so far so good. My hair pretty much looks the same every day. Um, and I'm okay with that. Like I like it. I have usually have it. I have a signature style anyway. I always have a part on the right side of my head. My hair is always slipped over my face. Like this is just how I wear my hair. <laughs> you know, like I wore it like this even when my hair was out. Like even when I was a loose natural this is how I would go to wear my hair so that this is how I style it um, even when I when I retwisted I purposely retwist like over to the side because I want it to lay here so but you know that's just my preference I'm really enjoying this journey I'm really enjoying just how my hair is changing how it's looking um, I still like it I still like the way it looks I think it looks really pretty um, even now how my twist my retwist has grown out significantly. Like there's a lot of frizz going on, but I literally, you know, I went, I, I went to church today, and you know, I wasn't worried about my hair. Like it was still comfortable enough. Like I was still comfortable enough wearing my hair out, you know, to go somewhere with it looking like this. You know, when I was a loose natural, I would always make sure my hair was freshly done. If I was going, if I was going to church, my hair was freshly done. I was going out to an event, my hair was freshly done. Um, you know, I didn't really want to go on old hair just because I liked the way it looked. Uh, I liked the way it looked more when it was new versus uh, like and fresh versus old hair or frizzy hair. So um, that's definitely something that the locks are changing about my mindset is uh, the frizz is good. The frizz is okay. And I can get past the frizz like really fun. <laughs> I can get past the frizz and I can um, go out with my hair like this. Like it's fine. It still looks good. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have more lock videos coming up, like more updates, uh, as well as uh, on my channel, I talk about minimalism and intentional living. And I also do health and fitness about living a healthy lifestyle, not just for your physical body, but also for your mental and your spiritual. If you want to see more videos like that, please join the fam, of course. And if you wanna see more lock videos or more hair videos, you can also check out the ones that I did previously. I will link them on the screen and in the description box down below. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.